hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine open world tutorial series so today is the 303rd episode and actually it's the anniversary the one year anniversary to my channel i uploaded the first video of this unreal engine open world series in october uh, 31st 2018 and so yeah today is the first year anniversary okay so i don't have any special plans for the anniversary as of the moment so anyway i'm gonna continue with uh, my open world uh, series and i was working on this grass material and blending the grass and the landscape in the distance so yeah today also i'm gonna continue with that so today i'm going to implement a way to blend the grass color change the color of the grass in the distance to match with the landscape by doing some modifications to the grass material and this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so in here you can s still see some difference between the landscape and the grass so let's see how to further reduce that difference it may not be necessary but i just want to see how it looks if i further reduce the difference between landscape and the uh, grass right so let me open my grass material this is the material instance and this is the material all right these parts are redundant so let me delete them and this okay so now we only need to worry about this base, base color output here so in the distance I need to have a constant color for the grass and I can control it by changing the texture as well as well uh, using this changing the texture to look like the distance landscape color but uh, it's not very convenient so therefore let's do something like this I'll define another vector parameter I'll call it grass distant color and same as before I'm gonna use um, what's the node pixel depth and I'm gonna blend linear interpolate this color and this grass color the distance grass color based on the distance from the camera to the grass pixel that's been rendered so yeah I can't directly use the pixel depth so it would be a larger value so therefore in order to get a meaningful value for this alpha um i'll subtract first some parameter i'll promote it and i'll call it blend start distance i'll give a value like maybe thousand and then i'll from divide this value with another parameter I'll call it blend sharpness uh, should it be sharpness or something else okay 
let's call it gradient and for that also I'll give thousand and use that value as the alpha all right uh, before that here I need to clamp this uh, the max value the main value should be zero and the max value would be this value and here also I need to clamp between 1 and 0 otherwise I will get all results and apply let's see what happens now well that's odd what's wrong Ah, it's not odd that I have used the color black so I should use some green let's try this color and apply okay now we have a result like this so now I can modify the distance color right here and match with the landscape so maybe I should we will yeah let's match with this side first now you almost don't see any difference between the grass and the land but you see the difference here what can I do about that well it's not 100% uh, possible to get rid of that difference because unless we are using uh, unlit light in model I guess so yeah we can only do what we can only do is minimize in the difference right this would be enough if I match perfectly with this side then I can see all uh, right I guess this is okay all right now I need to do something about this uh, starting distance of the grass color blending so I can change it here blend start distance if I increase it to 3000 and the gradient also if I increase it to well, let's say 3000 yeah this is better okay I guess this is cool mm. right I'll stop this episode at this point so let's play and see how it looks okay so you uh, this uh, I have disabled grass shadows for the third load of the grass so that's why you see this grass shadows are popping up as you move forward
Oh, we got some enemies here. Alright. I'll stop this episode at this point. And let me know if you have further, further problems. And if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club. Link would be in the description below. And in my Patreon page, you can download this whole landscape you can see in the tutorial that I have used. And thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.